on the server so that yeah. the scammers won't be able to send messages to you and don't fall for any pre-sell any of those yeah, yeah. websites like they would exactly. the tokens are all fake uh, any announcement we make is will be on our official website or on our announcement like official channel please yeah. please please don't don't fall for any of those messages to you directly or on Telegram channels or on anywhere to say that they have a token sell. Um, we will not- never engage in that type of practice. Everything will be made public. We won't do peer-to-peer messaging or try to ask for any of your sensitive information. And it will be way ahead of time. Like It's not going to be like, oh, it's still tomorrow. It's going to be well ahead of time, well publicized. It will be yes. very much... It will not involve Ethereum. So if anyone tries to sell you any tokens via Ethereum, it's 100% a scam. Uh, we're in L1. It doesn't make sense at all. Um, so please don't send people your Ethereum. OK, OK. Thanks. Um, the next question, uh, what are you working right now? And um, what problems or difficulties do you have right, right, right now? Yeah. I can talk a little bit about what I'm, what I'm working on right now. I don't know if we want to go around. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on ecosystem in general. Um, one of the, the things that I'm working on is, you know, we launched the TypeScript SDK um, and I'm working on indexing. We want to be able to have uh, people set up infrastructure for monitoring what's going on in the network, for, for uh, being able to better introspect um, their transactions and the transactions on the network. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, and, and enhancing the Explorer uh, UI. So that's kind of what I'm working on this week. I don't know if anyone else wants to. You can take it for most of the team. Like a lot of our tech stack. Yes, came, of, uh, yes of course. A so lot I, of tech uh, from yeah. the VM payment network, and so it's very focused on a permissioned, proof of authority based network, uh, and that's not the model that we're building in Optos. And so, for instance, we've got efforts to build out our staking frameworks, uh, the CLIs, and the tooling to interact with Aptos are also uh, rapidly being built out. Uh, we're improving the underlying move of uh, modules and frameworks to support better scalability, which implies not just at the move layer, but all the way down to the storage layer. Uh, and, and we're also just better engaging with the, the ecosystem so that folks can actually deploy, run, and manage their own resources in a way that makes sense from that perspective. And, and so it's a, there's a lot of just a lot of different things going on. You can actually watch the, the, the Git history just to see what is going on, and that's a good indication of what, where we're going next. And there's also a lot of uh, GitHub issues. Uh, the team is very uh, good at making those issues as we identify uh, gaps in, in some of our planning there. And we will uh, actually be launching out a, a clear vision of what we need to do to get to both incentivized test nets as well as mainnet in the near future. But if you do want to hop on and take one of these Git issues, uh, we very much welcome you to do so. Please do. And Gitcoin is also coming to help uh, incentivize some of those developments as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thanks. And uh, also, my next question will be: um, In what aspects of development and um, can community members will help you? You just uh, also uh, mentioned this, and uh, can can you repeat again, please? Well, uh, I mean, I would just maybe. look at uh, we have the GitHub issues, which is a lot of those are un uh, uh, executed on work. But also just looking around the code, trying to solve problems is a great way to kind of find out opportunities to contribute. I think we've had uh, three or more uh, individuals outside of our organization make contributions, and that's simply by going through the tutorials or having a specific use case that they had in mind and saying, hey, this is missing, I'd like to go and add that. And so that's that's kind of the mindset that I would take there and just saying, hey, and if, if you're actually saying, well, there, there's more here or I'm actually looking for something specific and I'd like to get engaged, you know, feel free to, uh, uh, Announce this in what is it the the dev yeah the the, the dev uh, channel and we'd be happy to identify some additional uh, startup tests depending on the interest uh, that you have. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. And the final questions, um, I think um, I have a gist to, to the team or maybe a question. Um, do you need to create a channel um, where people can unite to create content or? create uh, some application on the, uh, based on the move language. Yeah, yeah, I think a, a, a move channel might make sense. Cool, And, al- and also maybe 
uh, some channel with um, uh, some I'm with topic uh, with name. I'm looking help. Uh, please, somebody, somebody help me. Uh, I think it will be useful for ecosystem and uh, uh, will help you to create. Uh, um, will help to create ecosystem. Between, yeah. 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 Cool. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Uh, good luck. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Next up, we have Pavan. Yeah, hey Hello. guys. How are you guys doing? Good. What can we uh, answer for you? Uh, yep. So I was actually uh, looking for the SDKs in the GitHub, but the only option I was able to see was in the Rust. Uh, yes, I'm able to find a Node.js based in the NPM repository now. So, uh, although the documentation is uh, very basic on that, so uh, we we were just uh, looking forward to build something uh, on the on the data visualization side, maybe a basic mm -hmm. log explorer for the time being, so that uh, uh, all the uh, uh, node runners or the uh, validators they are able to check the status and uh, what sort of transactions are being handled by uh, their nodes. So I, I was sure. just uh, looking for SDK in Node.js or Python. I found one in Node.js, and I'll be referring to it uh, for now. Yeah. Explorers, we have our tutorials. Uh, the first transaction tutorial actually shows uh, beginnings of SDKs for Python as well as Rust, independent of like trying to use the existing uh, Aptos core as a whole SDK for Rust. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm able to uh, see that now. I'll uh, refer to that only. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Pavan. With that being said, we do have we do anticipate releasing more and more SDKs over time. The team is just a, a pretty lean team, and that you know, going back to the previous question about opportunities, we would love to have community SDKs that uh, you know, if it's good quality, we wouldn't mind hosting it with inside of our repository as well. Cool. Hello, Malot. You are on. There you go. You're unmuted. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. What can we do for you? Oh, okay, okay. Hello, guys. Uh, I have no questions, but I have a really make. Maybe I want to give you some compliment. Uh, really interesting project because uh, I've been uh, like um, here from March, and uh, we guys. Um, there are many people who are non-technical ones, but we want to contribute as well. And because uh, we love uh, ambassador programs, etc. And we want to say that uh, for me personally, I'm really happy that uh, you will have a community manager uh, on next Monday. So I, yeah, thank you for that. I hope we will have uh, more info about uh, white paper, roadmap, uh, something more uh, detailed. Uh, later and uh, yeah, uh, wish you good luck. I really uh, respect your uh, strict deadlines that you like uh, start and say okay, we're gonna have a mainnet in a uh, quarter three of uh, 2022. Uh, that's really cool. And I wish you many good luck. So hope to contribute to you very well. It will be really a high competition, I see, for this project. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to say. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Winston. Hello, Winston. Uh, what can we, what can we do for you? Hello. Uh, can, can you guys hear me? Yes. Hi. Uh, uh, I had a few more questions. Uh, follow, follow up on validator and full notes. I think someone mentioned that by having a full node, you can see the transactions happening on the DevNet. And I wanted to know what what's the best way to access those transactions. Like I have a full node running, but not really sure how to see that if it's 